Trump has been on edge ever since Michael Cohen's plea agreement uh, because Cohen implicated Trump last Friday in multiple felonies. Even Trump loyalists are struggling to defend their guy. A recent interview with hardcore MAGA online influencers showed that they're starting to look at the legal stuff and having a hard time dismissing it all. Well, sure, I wear a T-shirt that says Hillary murdered Benghazi, and I think Guatemalans are coming to live in my lake house, but I can't look the other way on campaign finance infractions. I'm not crazy. <laughs> but one group, one group does have Trump's back, Republican congressman. I don't think he was involved in crimes, but even then, you know, uh, you can make anything a crime under the current laws. It's just like a lot of other things that we've done in Washington, we've over-criminalized campaign finance. To go forward and say there's an impeachable offense because of a campaign finance problem, there's a lot of members in Congress who would have to leave for that same place. Okay, bye! <laughs> Don't, don't, don't let the Constitution hit you where the good Lord split you. Especially if your only argument is just because it's against the law doesn't mean it's illegal. You're Congress. You wrote the damn laws. What, is there suddenly some kind of law against breaking the law now? What's happening? Oh, okay. All right, what's going? Even if you broke the law, a lot of people think a sitting president can't be indicted. But the statute of limitations on Trump's crimes is five years. So Trump could be indicted in 2021 unless he's reelected. This is the craziest legal loophole I have ever heard of. If the president is above the law, then people can just stay out of jail by becoming president. <laughs> Look out for Trump's challengers in 2020. Lady with a thousand parking tickets and stabbing Larry. We got a great show for you tonight.